late 1800s, there were phenomena discovered associated with the number three. And this was seen in many fields of science, which suggests that nature works in threes. If you plant a seed, it grows up and it grows down, but there's a neutral point. I'm going to demonstrate one of these phenomena with what I'm calling an electrolytic tricell, which is similar to a diaphragm cell. This is an electrolytic diaphragm cell, which resembles a battery or a supercapacitor. It could be completely separating the two halves using two different electrolytes, or it could be open on the bottom. And this center section could be porous or non-porous, could be a dielectric, carbon, or metal. And what it's used for is to build a neutral point that will build in two different directions. But it's going to have trouble building in that and maintaining that neutral point without another wire connected to it to maintain that neutral zone. So what I'm doing is adding a third wire to the center section. What I'm going to be showing here is a plating of copper particles. In a normal cell with two electrodes, you'd have the copper on the positive and the piece you're going to plate on the negative. And the posits would be showing up on the, the negative electrode. In this case, with the three electrodes, the copper is going to be deposited on all three. I'm going to be using copper sulfate. I have to give a little warning here because there's a possibility that the gases that are emitted aren't just hydrogen and oxygen. I suspect that there's hydrogen sulfide gas emitted from this. So I'll be moving this experiment outdoors for demonstration. This is a diagram of the cell that I have. I have a carbon electrode, aluminum, and iron, and a steel nail. Now for my DC supply, I'm going to electrode A, which is the carbon, and I have amp meters in here. Now to get the neutral point here in the center electrode, I'm using an LED. And the reason I'm using that is to allow current to flow we yet maintain a voltage on electrode A to be able to make it to electrode C. You wouldn't necessarily have to use an LED there. You could possibly use a capacitor there to maintain your neutral point. This is an aluminum center electrode. You can see it got copper deposits on the one side here. I had scraped most of them off. On the other side, there wasn't any copper deposits until the gas bubbles eroded the bottom away and then it started creeping across to this side with some copper. But you can see there's a thickness there where the action was only taking place on, on one side. So there is a separation layer there. Now what I have here I have an amp meter to measure the amps going to A. And then I have an amp meter to measure the amps going to B, which is also the amps going through the LED. Now this meter is A and C, the voltage potential across the cell. And I have B and C voltage potential through the cell. Now this meter is going to measure the volts across the LED, which is also the potential between A and B.